Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so happy to be crafting with you today. We're working on the letter W, W for web. So get out your template and all your craft supplies and let's get started. All right, in front of me, I have my W template as well as the same size piece of paper that's blank. And all I'm gonna be doing right now is taking a very dark marker. I'm gonna use black. You could also use a dark blue or maybe a dark purple. I want it to be black for a reason, or I want it to be dark for a reason. So make sure you choose something that's a little darker, whether it be crayons or a marker. And I'm just gonna go in now, and I'm going to color my letter W. Let's take our time as we're doing this, making sure that we're filling all the nooks and crannies. you need to pause so that you can go at your own pace that's okay too you can always come back oops little daisy here we go turn it around here. I do love the sound that markers make I know I say that a lot, but it's true. It's very meditative. All right, looking good. Now we're gonna finish up this side. And that looks great. And I don't want an M, so I'm gonna turn it around so it's a W again. Wonderful. Now we're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna start cutting. So grab your safety scissors and I want you to cut around the W. Take your time, watch your fingers, and stop if you need to, to pay attention. I'm gonna go all the way around. I do leave a little bit of space. Again, it just helps me to guide and make sure that I'm getting the right shape for the letter. After you're done, if you want to, you can always go back in and color in with the same color again. But oftentimes, I just leave it. I'm gonna go in now, very carefully and cut around the edges. Make sure that your fingers are out of the way as usual so that you're being very safe when you cut. Great job. And there you go. So there's my W. Now I could go around and make this section black, but I'm okay because I'm going to be on a background that looks like that, so no one will even see it. Now that I have my W, I'm gonna take a little piece of felt fabric. I also have the option of using a black piece of paper, but I like the texture of the felt. So I'm going to take it and cut it into a little piece. Yours might already be cut. And I want to make a little spider, a spider for my web. So my spider body is going to be rather small. So I'm thinking about that size. And I'm just going to cut out a little body. Be careful with your scissors. Watch what you're doing. And there you go. That's, that's a pretty good size for a spider. Let's check. Yeah, nice and furry. I like it. So we're gonna put that like there and I'm just gonna grab my glue and glue on my felt. It could be anywhere. So I'm just gonna put mine down the bottom like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my black now and I want to make legs. Now spiders have how many legs? Eight legs. So we're going to count eight little pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The reason I count them and cut them at first 
and not do them individually is so I can keep better track of how many legs I have. So with a little bit of glue, I'm going to put four on this side. Three. And if it doesn't want to stick, we'll just go back in a minute with our glue. And then I'm going to put four on this side as well. It can be a little tricky if the glue hasn't dried. You can always go a little bit slower than I do. Perfect. Now I do like how that looks, but perhaps the legs are a little too long. So little by little, I'm just going to cut away the legs. And then I can also see the W a lot better, which is what I want to pay attention to. Oopsie, and if that happens, guess what you get to do? Just go back in with your glue and put it back on. Wonderful. That looks really neat. Okay, so now your W may already have holes in it. I'm just going to go ahead and punch holes all the way down my web. And keep going all the way down. Oh, that one's much better. I don't really have a number in mind. You'll see in a minute why I'm punching holes in here. I'm going to do it all the way until the whole thing is filled. I'm going to move my little holes here. Sometimes hole punchers can be finicky, but that's okay. Now I'm going to grab some yarn or wool or string and I'm going to take it, cut it to a reasonable piece, and we're going to start weaving in and out of our W, which will make our web. So a little trick that I sometimes do, if you don't have tape that you could put around the edge to make it sharp and stronger for weaving, is I just take a little bit, put it on my glue, and then twisty, twisty. And what that does is it just keeps it from fraying and getting difficult to use. If you're using shoelaces, and you know what a shoelace looks like, it's pretty cool. That's what we're trying to create. So we're just going to pull it through our W. And just before it comes out the other way, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to take a piece of tape. And I'm going to just put my piece of tape right over the top. And now I know it can't move, which is going to be super helpful for me as I make my web. So again, in and out. Just gonna go any direction. It could be up, it could be down. And you're just gonna start like this, putting it through and pulling it tight. Putting it through. Now, because webs are not just side by side, we're gonna pick another hole somewhere on our W. And be very gentle, you don't wanna break up your spider. And maybe I'll go over here, I'll go over here, and you see what we're doing? We're just creating a web that the spider has created with our wool. We're just going to keep doing that randomly in and outside of the holes. I think I will go over this time. And the great thing about this is if it gets tangled, don't worry about it because you're making a spider web. It does not have to be symmetrical at all. That is super duper good. Just keep going until all of your string is used up. Take your time. Don't pull too hard because you don't want to make your W break or bend too much. So very loose, very relaxed little web over here. I'm going over, I'm going under, I can go through the same hole. See? It's totally great. Go back around, maybe go up here. Yours will be completely different from mine because you're doing your own pattern. Now once you get to the end, you have a little piece like that. I'm gonna put it down, grab another little piece, Tape it down and press nicely. But when you look, let's make sure it's all pressed. Press, press, press. Look, you can't see it from there. So now what we're going to do 
is take a marker. Let's just color this the whole thing. You could do rainbow, you could do one color. Doesn't even have to be the same. We're gonna get really, get just really artsy right now. And go over the top. I like that. You can use crayons. You could even use your paints right now and then let it dry and then glue it on. Remember if you're using paints, watercolor or regular um, paints, you don't want to try and glue on top of it until it's very, very dry. But for this, because we're doing it together, I'm just going to use markers. This is just freestyle art. Just creating the way I feel. You could go over and over, but right now I like the way that looks. I just wanted it to pop a little bit. So I've turned over my W. I'm getting my glue again, and I'm going to do the best I can to get around all these spots. Even if you get the glue on the wool, it's okay because it's going to be sticking. It's going to help stick better. So just go slowly and get as much of the W glued up as you can. You need it to be a little clumpier because the actual W is thicker today. So I'm going to put that on like that and press, press down as hard as you can. Be mindful of your spider. Don't knock Mr. Spider off. And the last thing I'm going to do is take my googly eyes and put them on top of my spider. I love googly eyes. They make everything so much more fun. I'm sure you agree. And there's our W craft today. Web, W, and a cute little spider. I hope you had fun today. I hope you send me pictures and I can't wait to do another craft with you soon. Take care.